And basically, you know, one of the things B.B. King is most known for is his combining of the major and the minor pentatonic together in one solo. Um, now, instead of getting bogged down by a bunch of chord shapes, which is, I think it's really important to learn as many of the chord shapes as you can. I mean, it just helps you play better and help you learn quicker. However, this is a cool little device that you can do right in your A minor pentatonic still. And remember to try these in other keys. Um, but basically, you know, I'm still in that same scale shape here with the uh, root on the fifth fret of the low E. Okay. But here's what we can do. We can still solo right with that minor pentatonic scale, but here is a really cool device and it works really well specifically over the one chord. So if you have a blues, it's got the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. This is always going to work most strong for that one chord. And then it's also great if you've got a little groove that stays on a, on a dominant chord, like an A7 chord for a while. whole time there, this little device would be beautiful over that. So here it is. Anytime you, you're inclined to play this fifth fret on the G string in that pentatonic, that note, every time you're wanting to hit that, you got to train yourself. You're going to want to practice this a little bit, but every time, just for this device, when you want to do that, you're going you're gonna to hammer that middle finger a half step higher. So watch this little box right here if I do that every time. Right? B but let's say I wanted to do it backwards like this. It's still going to be the same thing. It's going to hammer up, not backwards. It would be... Instead of playing that box, even right, and then any time, and this is going to work. Uh, that little hammer on specifically strong for that one chord. However, the next two little spots that you can replace your regular pentatonic with, they're going to pretty much work all the time and give you a different flavor. And it's just the whole steps, which is actually even easier. It's you know five to five to seven on the B five to seven on the high E, but also with little half step bends in there too. And the one I like a lot is especially the uh, that B string half step bend. flavor in there and you're doing this and then adding some half step bends on that B string and high E I'm going to show you two classic BB inspired little things there. One is almost like a country lick. We're going to hammer on from five to six on the G. Then we're going to do five, seven, five on the B string. And I just did one pick there. That's a nice little technique. 
or you could pick them all. And then the root note, the fifth fret of the high E. Now the other classic one is a uh, ring finger slide from the fifth fret up to the seventh fret on the B, then two times on the high E, then back to the seven on the B, and then back to the root. Followed by you know, and I was combining, you know, improvising the concept that I showed you. And then we're going to go on that seventh fret of the high E, and we're going to do a whole step end. see I went back to just the blue scale and it sounded like oh okay I hear that different different sound there so that's the idea of you can plug in that little concept to splatter that kind of feeling or color and then bring it right back into that minor pentatonic scale so mm -hmm. 